Here's what happens after you flush the toilet. With the world's buildings reaching soaring new heights, one pressing question needs to be asked. How the hell does all that poop make it back to the ground? Waste flushed down from a height goes down at speeds of up to 122 miles per hour as it hits terminal velocity. The bottom of the pipe levels out to slow down the flow and minimize any bounce backs. Buildings 20 or more stories high also need to have separate stacks or pipes for toilets in the first two floors to prevent anything from spewing out. The design of a toilet system depends largely on the number of appliances and the amount of fluids those appliances are expected to discharge. Since skyscrapers produce more fluid discharge, its drain pipes need to be much wider than those in single-family homes. Pipes are typically made from PVC, but some buildings use cast iron for extra protection against rats, fires, and the sheer pressure of tons of crap rushing through them. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's some more things you should know about poop. CDC releases annual Poop in Pool report. With Memorial Day weekend around the corner and May 23rd marking the start of Healthy and Safe Swimming Week, the Centers for Disease Prevention and Control have released what's become an annual warning about swimming pools. The poop in the pool report is out, and it's gross. According to the report, which is based on 2013 findings, most inspections of public aquatic venues, almost 80 percent, identified at least one violation. After reviewing data on 84,187 routine inspections of 48,632 public aquatic venues where people swim, one in eight inspections resulted in immediate closure, and one in five kiddie or wading pools were closed. The 2013 report found that 59 percent of the pool filter samples tested contain Pseudonomus aeruginosa, which can cause skin rashes and ear infections. Plus, 58% tested positive for E. coli, bacteria normally found in, well, poop. And if your eyes have ever stung after you've gone swimming, it's usually because chlorine had mixed with poop, pee, sweat, and dirt from swimmers' bodies. Yuck. Look out below! Seagulls in Alaska are carrying antibiotic-resistant E. coli. You can run, you can hide, but you cannot escape the wrath of the birds. Or their poop. That's basically what a group of scientists in Alaska are warning after studying seagull droppings at landfills along the Kenai Peninsula. In findings published in November, they've discovered a strain of E. coli bacteria proven to be superior to human-developed antibiotics. When antibiotics are ingested, they pass through our bodies and get flushed down the toilet into the sewage system. However, water treatment plants aren't designed to treat antibiotic residues, allowing them to make their way into the environment. Bacteria in the environment then come into contact with the antibiotic residues, and over time, they become resistant to them. Animals who hang out in places of high human activity, like seagulls, then contract the E. coli and rain terror down upon us. The researchers from the United States Geological Survey aren't sure the E. coli found in the seagull fecal matter can be transmitted to humans, but they are certain that humans are the cause of these infections in the birds. In the United States, the CDC reports 2 million illnesses and 23,000 deaths are caused each year by drug-resistant bacteria. Exposure to pig feces kills Japanese farm worker. A worker at a piggery in northern Japan died from exposure to hydrogen sulfide given off by pig feces on Wednesday. Two workers, aged 50 and 30, were discovered unconscious at around 9 a.m. at the piggery located in the city of Hachinohe. They reportedly lost consciousness while cleaning sewage due to exposure to hydrogen sulfide. One of the workers died, the other remains hospitalized. Hydrogen sulfide is a potentially lethal toxic gas often found in piggeries. It's produced by anaerobic bacterial decomposition of organic matter, such as those found in feces and manure. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. First UK bus to run on human poo hits the road. The UK's first poo bus started shuttling passengers between Bath and a nearby airport this Thursday. The 40-seat biobus runs on biomethane gas generated by treating human sewage and food waste. Through an anaerobic process, bacteria break down the waste material to produce methane and other gases. Carbon dioxide is extracted from the methane, and the methane is added to propane to produce fuel, which is stored in the roof of the bus. 
A full tank is generated from the waste that around five people produce in one year. The bus can travel up to 300 kilometers before it needs to refuel. It now operates as a shuttle service between Bath and Bristol Airport. The bus runs on a combustion engine similar to those found on conventional diesel buses, but emits up to 30% less carbon dioxide.